everybody. Welcome to my home. My name is Becky and I'm so excited that you're here today. Today's a very special video for me because my husband has agreed to do a video with me. He's going to let me film him a little, just a little bit. He's very private. He does not like to be behind the camera. So this little bit that I got took a lot of encouragement for him <laughs> to do but um you know the thing is is that when i show you guys things in my home that i'm decorating 50 percent of that is him and he he has built these things for us for me to decorate and um he will not take credit for that he's just you know i'm not getting in front of the camera so okay fine i'll do it but um we're in his office today and you know he builds so much for me he does so much for me anything i come up with he's on it and he never ever does anything for himself this room was supposed to be his study his office his where he could work and he did build this desk he built two bookshelves up and attached them to the wall but that's where he stopped. It got put on the back burner, put on the back burner, put on the back burner. So this week when we were in the mountains, we did a little antiquing and I picked up a few things and he found some slabs of wood. He said they were thin enough to make good shells and he wanted to put them in his study. So I was like, let's do it. I said, would you let me video you doing it? <laughs> so he agreed and that's what we're doing. So I've already showed you the haul. If you haven't seen that video, please go back and watch it. I've already posted that. That was the haul and a little um, video of me antiquing and the things I saw. And um, that's, that's kind of neat to see because those are the items that I'm gonna be using in here. So we're gonna decorate those two shelves for him. Um, and first I'm going to kind of give you a view of the office before so take a look at that entering into his office this is his workspace his personal space so it is very messy right now but this is where he studies and does all of his works on his guns and whatever he needs to do if he needs to look at plans for work he does it in here so this is the area that he's gonna be working on today between these two shelves these are all of his Bibles and Bible study tools and um, heating and refrigeration, whatever he needs for. Yeah, he's a nerd. Look, he likes trigonometry. <laughs> but anyway, um, anything he's interested in, he'll, he'll buy books on. So he has lots and lots of books. But we're going to fill in these two. We're going to put two shelves here in this area. The wood is live wood. He picked it out yesterday, and I'm going to show you that. In just a second but he did he did <clears throat> excuse me build on um, this desk with the three drawers in it and he made it like a drafting type style with no legs so it's attached to the wall so whoever whoever gets this house next is going to have this custom built office in here so all right i'm going to show you the so this is where he does all of his woodworking and these are the two pieces of wood that he bought now we were at the antique store when we bought this wood and a lot of the antique stores now have this live wood in the back that you can purchase and then do your diy projects but this is black walnut and the purpose is to keep the curves and the natural movement of the wood as natural as possible like so he'll have to cut this here but he'll use his tools to make it natural looking as natural as possible he's built a coffee table several tables like this i don't know if you've ever noticed my coffee table but it's a live wood table as well as my side table and that's that's how the shelves are going to be um shaped like the natural flow of the wood okay so as you can see he just kind of put things wherever they were easily accessible for him and the next thing i'm going to let you look at is the process of him building the shell so i want you to see that i'm going to share that with you as well so i'm going to cut to that right now
So now at the point that we are at right at this minute, everything is built and put up and I'm going to turn the camera around. I've tidied, I've dusted, everything is pretty clean right now for a clean slate that we can decorate the shelves and I'm going to show you Okay, that so you now. can see everything's a little tidier than it was. These are our shelves. We're going to decorate those. I've cleaned the counter off as well. Just made it just a little neater to look at. So I'm going to start with this bottom shelf this first. This first shelf I can do, I can reach myself. I don't need a ladder, so you don't quite get to see the butt shot yet. I know you're all looking forward to that. <laughs> We're going to start with some old books. Now these are not his books. These are the ones that I decorate with. So we're going to start with them right here. Okay. And then our little metal, I think socket sets came in these and they're rusty and crusty and just everything good. So we're going to set those up next right here. And then these Bibles, well, they're not Bibles, they're by J. Vernon McGee, they're um, Bible studies, but they were given to my husband by a very special person and they are very important to him. So I'm going to put two of them right there. We have five volumes. When he passed away, his wife gave, um, gave David five volumes from his personal collection and they mean a lot to him. Okay, and then let's see, we're going to put, this is a planer. It's like when he's doing woodwork, he um, planes the wood. <laughs> when we first started antiquing together, he started collecting these. He's got a lot of them. I'm trying to talk him into building shelves all around this room and let's display them, but he uses them. They are antique. They were, um, they were, re uh, repurposed, refinished. Um, the guy who we bought it from, he sanded all this down and smoothed it down and redid the wood and everything and made it beautiful. And he just went crazy. So that's a tool of his trade. So that is meaningful to him. So we're going to put that there. And then inside the little tins, I'm going to put some pictures. These pictures are of his grandparents. And so I'm going to put them in there. Okay. Now I know it's hard to see. <laughs> um, I might have to get something to kind of prop them up a little bit um, so you can see them. But he knows they're in there. Uh, this little coffee cup here is another thing that he collected when we started antiquing were Fire King coffee mugs because they reminded him of his grandpa. And he remembers him sitting on the porch drinking his coffee, his instant Folgers or Sanka or whatever, <laughs> holding a coffee cup just like this. So this is going to be a tribute to his, his papa. And I'm going to sit it right here. You know, I told him, I said, these things are from your childhood that um, I'm putting in here. My childhood was very different than his. His was rural, um, out in the country. Um, very, very simple. I grew up not in the city, but in a little more populated area than he did. So, um, okay, let me fix this real quick. I'm going to put those there. So you can see them a little better. And this little one here, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to kind of sit right there because you're not going to be able to see it. And then this little clock is, we did pick this up. This isn't sentimental, but I thought that it would kind of remind him of when he used to stay with his grandparents. And that's probably the type of clock they had and maybe would bring some good memories for him. All right, and you know I gotta put greenery up here, so I'm gonna slide this here and put some greenery up here. Okay, let's see, how about there? I like that, that's better. Okay, all right, that's our first shelf. I'll give you a close-up of that. Number 
two. Are you excited? <laughs> All right, we're going to put volumes one through four of his books up first. Okay. And then, let's see, what are we going to do next? Um, you saw this in the hall. This is the white ruler, fold-out ruler, in the shape of a star. I saw this. I did not come up with this idea. I saw it online and loved it. I put just a little bit of putty here to hold it. And I'm going to sit that right there. He uses these rulers in his trade, so good idea. Now, this piece right here is just a sentimental piece. It was a great, great grandfather. It's called a rabbit, apparently. I have no idea. He knows what it means. It's sentimental to him, so that's good enough for me. I'm going to sit that right there, okay? And then I have an old hymnal. Um, I'm not sure where he got this. It was in his little stack of books that were meaningful to him, so he'll have to tell that story on another day. You'll remember this from the hall. It's a little scale. I'm going to sit that right there. And I'm going to put a little bit more greenery up here. We'll put the greenery right here, I think. Maybe. And then this is really cool. Um, this is a brand. And whenever he makes any of his woodwork, working projects, he brands his name in there. So I'm going to sit that right up there. I think that's it was a gift from one of the girls so let's see if I like this better than this let me just let me just play around a little bit here the, um I don't know. I think the greenery needs to be in different spots from each other. So let's do this. Get out of the way, you wascally wabbit. That was terrible. <laughs> oh gosh. I don't know why you guys watch me. Okay, there it is. Let me give you a close up. I moved that greenery around. I wanted you to see. I moved the top piece over in the middle and the bottom piece over here. I like that a little better. So I wanted to show you that. I did show you in the close up, but I just want to explain why it looked different. All right, I'm going to scoot you down just a little bit. And we're going to do the very last thing. The thing that is most important, this is the last thing to add, is his Bible. This is what this room is all about what it's used for so I'm going to sit that out for him and open it up and set his glasses out give him his little chair and it is all ready to use all right that's it I hope you enjoyed it I hope he likes it. I hope he keeps it this way. We'll see. I have a feeling it's going to be just as dirty and just as messy and just as dusty by next week, but that's all right. Uh, remember that your husbands do live with you, so t hopefully you'll be able to take some of these masculine ideas and implement in your house and make them happy too, because they live with you too. It's not just our house. It's theirs too, um, but I haven't done any masculine inspiration so far. This is different. I thought it was fun. I mean, I bought these things for myself. And then when he found the wood, I was like, okay, well, we'll put it in your room, I guess. <laughs> you can use these in your house too, I think. I think that star would be perfect for 4th of July or Christmas. That's what I bought it for was 4th of July and Christmas. But anyway, um... Thank you for watching. I hope you watched both videos. Make sure you watch the first one, which is where we went shopping in the mountains when we were on vacation to the antique stores and the haul afterwards. And I shared all these things with you. And then this is part two or 
you know, continuation on how we decorated with those items. So make sure you watch both videos. I really love you all. I appreciate all your, your comments and your support. I will see you later. Bye.